now we shall proceed to the next part that is part last part of your syllabus that is application of geoinformatics okay so in your syllabus there are numerous applications of geoinformatics okay right from say natural resource management to say disaster management okay so now i will try to demonstrate real application of geoinformatics this entire field of science in different application and resources okay so then we will just try to learn how this particular technology of geoinformatics are being utilized in different sector then how people are making or the decision maker are planning or taking their decisions because in the first video that we have looked that our main purpose of gs or geoinformatics is that to make better decision for better future future of whom for the environment society and wildlife okay so now we will try to have a look on the real life application of this particular field of technology that is geoinformatics okay so for that uh, i have bought few web links so in your syllabus you have natural resource management in your syllabus you have water resource management in your syllabus you have disaster management in your syllabus you have rural development in your syllabus you have urban planning and in your syllabus you have another application monitoring projects okay so for each of the sector i have brought one particular real time application then i will show you so natural resource management means resource means natural resource resource means any kind of say particular thing or particular phenomenon phenomenon having a utilization value for the human being that is a resource for natural resource means natural resource the resource which are available naturally water resource is also a natural resource like forest cover natural resource okay say for example coal natural resource so how we can able to utilize this particular geoinformatics in this type of resource observation then we have disaster management now this most important is disaster management so during the covid time during the flood we see the real time application of geoinformatics for reducing the bad effect of disaster and hazards then we have rural development in rural areas how this particular technology is being used for just mapping the rural assets applying the uh, rural development program of the government then in urban planning in urban planning like city or traffic management how this particular geoinformatics is being used these things are there in your syllabus but we will look few real time applications so first we will see natural resource management for natural resource management i have collected one website again this is a particular multi dimensional platform being developed by isro or nrsc that is bhuban in bhuban what we can able to observe in that particular platform the all type of real time application and projects which are being done at national level for our entire country by this particular organization isro they are product it means finished product we can able to observe using this particular website or web portal that is bhuban platform it means it is known as bhuban thematic service but anyway so here say we have different type of natural resource observation thing you see land use land cover you see wasteland land degradation glacial lake geomorphology lineman flood hazard urban and sprawl water which different type of application under it but we will only see as per the application in terms of natural resource management we will see land use land cover say we will pick land use land cover of 2015 and 16 land use land cover means land cover means natural cover on the surface of the earth land use means that natural cover is being utilized by human activities for their purpose then it is modified then because of that it is known as land use okay so that is land use land cover so isro has developed different land use land cover classes and they have prepared land use land cover map for our entire country at or up to district level so for that we will just select say we will see our assam okay after selecting the natural resource management theme land use land cover we will select the area for which state we are going to observe for our own state say assam just let me click view once i click view you see so i will get the land use land cover map of my area that is assam not only i will get the land use land cover map with the map 
another important parameter I will get that is the numerical values or statistics of each and every land use land cover class. So you see now if you see this particular map, these are the different land use land cover class. So say for example this green color, green color means what? You see forest, evergreen forest or deciduous forest. This particular red color, this particular red color means the built up land. Built up means the settlement or human made concrete surfaces. Okay. Then say since this particular yellow color means what? Agricultural land. So, by observing this particular map, we can able to understand the distribution of different natural resource contents. But thing is that these are only qualitative data. But only how much agricultural land use are there in Assam. So, for that, in this particular portal, they have provided statistics. You see, under statistics, we will get even one pie diagram is also automatically generated. The, the, these are the applications of geoinformatics. You see. Say built up urban, how much around 740 square kilometer of the land in Assam are say considered as the built up land. They have observed. Then again, here also another important observation you can do this is state level observation. Now we can also have district level observation, say Dorong. You see? So now Dorong district land use land cover inside the boundary, Dorong administrative boundary will be there, old Dorong district. Huh? Now, here also under statistics, you see district wise, you see now this is district wise statistic, it means Dorong district land use land cover. Earlier in Assam built up land around 700, in Dorong district built up land around 10 square kilometer and these are the proportional distribution. So, this is one platform. How? Geoinformatics or entire this technology are being utilized in natural resource management. Now, we will quickly move to the next part that is in water resource management. In water resource management, we have another website called India Waris. It means India Water Resource Information System. And this particular website is also developed by ISRO, which uh, say uh, collaboration of different organizations. So from this particular portal, what data sets we can able to collect or visualize. So this particular portal is developed in such a way that to monitor the water resource the basin boundary, river basin boundary, river water level, river sediment level, okay, flood layer level, different type of water resource related information which are addressed by this particular portal and this particular portal is developed using the approach of geoinformatics, okay. So this is in water resource development. We will quickly move to the next one, geoinformatics application in disaster management, okay, disaster means Say beyond our tolerance, if any type of natural or say human made phenomena goes beyond our tolerance, then it has a greatest effect on our humanity or environment, then that is a disaster. So, we have one best portal, this particular uh, portal. From here, we can able to monitor in real time. Real time means what is happening right now or near time monitoring and management of all the atmospheric phenomena using that particular website very good website let us see and this particular website is harnessing the technology of geoinformatics so in that particular website we can able to monitor all type of meteorological or atmospherical phenomena okay art.nal school so in this particular website this is a this particular portal is developed using geoinformatics so here what we see this is our Indian Ocean okay this is our India this is Sri Lanka and these are what wind okay now if we observe real time this is current situation so how we can see that say if I just open this particular area you see that is the now so now winds are moving like that satellite are providing real time data so how I am so, so sorry why I am showing this particular website so few days back we had one cyclone in okay Tam, uh, Tamil Nadu okay in, in, in means Bay of Bengal okay so 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 when it was now we are visualizing it as it is so we will we can able utilizing this website we can able to visualize the past record also or future model also we can predict so past record let us quickly move to the say I think date 4 now that four we had that particular cyclone so let us see you see the cyclone on that four then that five 
where was the cyclone it will come so you see date 5 it is almost finished okay so that is how we can utilize this particular website then here if i click here say for example in that four we had that particular cyclone so here if i click over here you see i get one point in it means on that particular location the cyclone or wind is moving at 72 kilometer per hour speed at which location at this particular latitude and longitude absolute location that is there in your uh, content okay so in this way we can able to generate real time information about different hazards now this is climatic hazards okay so now the india where is it is coming so here also you can able to visualize different type of water resource information so again it is taking time so let us move to the another application that is for rural development so this gram mansitra this particular web portal is developed by harnessing the geoinformatics technology and this is related to panchayat or village level mapping of natural assets as well as human made assets right from roads buildings community hall up to the different government project okay so gram mansitra this particular gram mansitra mansitra means map and gram means village areas okay so this particular portal is developed by ministry of panchayatras working with nrsc and here up to village level you can able to collect different type of rural development information and for urban planning we have another website that is it is also developed using bhuban platform you have heard about padhan manti awaz yojana okay so like padhan manti awaz yojana like we have for rural areas it is for urban areas too for urban areas also we have padhan manti awaz yojana okay this particular projects or government missions are nowadays being monitored using geoinformatics for why for transparency whether the house is made or not whether trees are planted or not you can able to get that particular information using remote sensing gis or geoinformatics technology so now you see this is what pradhan mantri awaz yojana for urban areas okay so using this geoinformatics they have developed this portal here say we have different type of states so let us select our state assam okay then district say district take for example Kamro metropolitan district then city means guwahati so let us view once i click view you will get few point information here you see and with lizard it means this particular point color it means the house padhan manti awaz yojana house is not started yet this particular color means only foundation is done this particular color means the lintel is done this particular color means roof is done and this green color means completed okay so let us view to the location that is uh, guwahati city let us go you see these are the exact location where that particular house is constructed okay using that geoinformatics you can also able to get the attribute information of that particular location if i click here if i click here you see this particular house is for jamila khatun see jamila khatun that is the house and you see here the color is green that is why it is completed you see then another say red color i will click here red color you see not completed started and volume so each and every information you can able to integrate with the map and that is how transparency works then any person even our pm sitting in delhi he can say assess whether field level work is going on or not he should not come here to see that particular house that is the one type of example how geometry is being applied in urban affairs or <coughs> urban planning so now uh, another website we have for projects okay we have different projects or missions being operated by government of india like i have shown this pradhan mandi awaz yojana pradhan mandi gram sarak yojana urban mission different missions okay so here this another particular mission is or project that is being done by government of india with ministry of panchayat ras this swamitbha project 
ओके देन इन स्वामित्व प्रोजेक्ट दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज directly related to geoinformatics how this project is related to the updation or digitalization digitalization of boundary records state boundary district boundary village boundary cadastral level one property boundary okay so in india say we do not have most of the area don't having or, or do not have this particular digital boundary digital land records so using this particular mission government is digitizing the old records where we have old map or traditional maps they are digitizing using geoinformatics technology or where we do not have village boundary records or any type of boundary records especially in the hilly areas of northeast india or hilly areas of india so what they are doing they are just flying drone using drone survey they are collecting the high resolution data of the earth surface then by processing the collected data in gis or geoinformatics they are preparing or developing the map okay so here you see uh, currently where they are surveying that current status in india you will get it may take time so one of the best project where people from geoinformatics are being employed here okay because this entire project say uh, we had earlier project pradhan mantri awas yojana they have taken the help of geoinformatics but this particular scheme is directly related to geoinformatics why because it is related to updation of or digitization of boundaries boundaries means country level boundary district level boundary village level boundary okay up to cadastral level boundary that is the real time application of our geoinformatics field of science okay these are the few applications of or some of the important application of this geoinformatics for what managing the disaster monitoring the disaster for planning our natural resources for monitoring our water resources for say applying or monitoring or utilizing the government resources in a transparent mode or in different type of urban planning as well as rural development application so with this uh, i wish to conclude today's session okay thank you